Yeah, yeah. You ready for another video? <laughs> Here we go again! <laughs> We're doing it! Uh, I'm Joe! I'm Nick! I'm a drunk nerd! I'm a sober nerd! And <laughs> Cheers! Mazel tov. We have just seen Ready Player One. Ready Player One. <laughs> and what are we building, Joe? Uh, I found circuit clay, the easiest way to learn about electricity. Cover your butts. We're going to learn something. <laughs> we're we're going to bust these open, and we're going to talk about Ready Player One. That's, that's actually so much arm hair. I got, oh, it's going to hurt. <laughs> Oh, I'm so Jewish! Oh, happy Passover! Hey Joe, should we remind everyone that we're going to be covering every single spoiler? <laughs> we are going to spoil Ready Player 3. Let's time this mess. Hey Joe, what are you drinking? Same thing I drink every night, Pinky. Bourbon? Bourbon. I'm drinking apple juice and flavored seltzer. What do we get in the box? We get four colors of conductive clay, white insulating clay, 20 LEDs, a battery pack, and 53 paper pieces. Ready Player One. What are your first thoughts on Ready Player One? Should I just say it now and get out of the way? Yeah, let's just do it. Visually stunning. <laughs> <laughs> Can I be honest? I actually thought it wasn't visually stunning. I thought it was very... Um, I'm, I'm, I think... Thumbs down on visually stunning. Wow. Yeah. I thought very purposefully that they had to make the the um, the visuals like as if it was in a video game. And so sure. purposefully shoddy. I don't think so for the most part. Did it look realistic? A lot of it did. I don't like the know. race scene, racing through I mean, New York City. The race scene was visually stunning. The motion capture on a lot of the facial expressions, I love that. I love that that translated over to a 75% animated movie. My counter to that will be, we did that in Avatar. What did they step up since Avatar? I'd say it's on par with Avatar. I wouldn't say it's gone much farther. I'm certainly not going to say it's like, oh, it's visually garbage. But maybe we're at the point where we still can't quite cross the uncanny valley, but they're getting the same results in less time. What are you now bringing to the table? For me personally, the nostalgia. This nostalgia hit me hard. It was, I mean, as a child who grew up in the 80s, everything I looked at, I was like, oh! <gasps> I remember that, and <gasps> it's that, I had that. Yeah, I mean- The licensing for this movie was absurd. It, it had to be a quarter of the budget. Everything you looked at was from some other franchise. Though, though very- and it was great. It though was, very intelligently, a lot of it was from Spielberg. I think my, my biggest issue with the movie, I'll be honest, is that it was such a, just a derivative, like, hero love story. I think that's what we want. I don't want it. Not that audiences wouldn't appreciate something else, but they're not turning their cheek at this I formula. I will go on the record saying this is not going to do well. I think it's so derivative that people are going to just be like, I... I think it'll have a, have a strong opening first two weeks, and then maybe it'll, I think I don't, it'll I, fall off. I don't even, I think it's gonna have a mediocre opening weekend. I think it's gonna tank after the opening weekend. If Joe's wrong, feel free to make fun of him. I personally feel that the the love story was too obvious. Oh, you, you're not gonna like me when you see me in person because I'm hideous. Cause I'm she, not what you're expecting. Because she had a, a, a birthmark a, on her face. A port wine stain that was barely noticeable. Yeah, like. And uh, the rest of her is just beautiful. But that Artemis is. Everything exactly that she you would expect her to be. Yeah. With a birthmark. Which <laughs> makes me silent. untouchable by men. And you're like, what the f***? It was a bit of a misstep. It was terrible. <laughs> I think it would have been way better if, she, if he would have fallen in love with H. Like, let's just do anything different from the, from the norm. This is literally a story that's been written for... For, and I'm not exaggerating, 3,000 years. Yeah. This is Beowulf. It's the exact same story structure. And it's just like, uh, can you give me one different element? <sighs> anyway. You know what I feel sad about this film? Is that I think the best character was TJ Miller. He added the actual real gamer depth of what an actual gamer is, which is like, not some like, like sly 17 year old, not like some super cute, <laughs> like 19 year old redhead. There's a birthmark on her eye. I'm like, 
like super nerds and like and that's what tj miller was was he actually was just like a super nerd and he was the reality in this entire uh, kind of like reality he centered me more than any other character did he was the comic relief and the center which was weird i tethered to him more than i tethered to anyone else and i'm like i shouldn't tether to the comic relief and yet here we are and yet here i am tethering <laughs> to be like oh yeah tj miller is the most relatable freaking actor in the movie it's a weird movie. Hey, Joe, let's build. Oh, that one works. How does yours work and not mine? Aziz, light! <laughs> what, what's the problem? No, just so you can see it. Flick it off. Yeah, they can see it. You can see it, right? They can see it. Oh, never touch the battery pack wires directly to LED legs. <laughs> <laughs> You'll burn out the LED and it won't light up anymore. That's probably what I did. Yeah, we figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's why you should read the instructions all the way through before starting your project. Yeah. All right, they're giving us clay basics. I'm good with the clay basics. I've been I've been claying since since the ripe old age of two. Right. What did you think the message of Ready Player One was? Experience life in person. Don't get lost in video games. Get out there, experience people one to one, face to face. I wish they would have put a little more of the fact that. Oil was no longer an issue. Glo global warming had kind of already happened. Like, world catastrophes have already gone on. And so, like, all of these sort of things that we worry about currently, we didn't, like, had already happened. And, like, it was like the world had already ended. I felt like they, they kind of did it in the beginning, but they did it in a really crappy way. First, there was the bandwidth wars. Like, well, these are irrelevant. Like, if you would have been like, well, first we ran out of oil. And then the sea levels rose. We were like, okay, like, yeah, like, let's just... Then people worried about their Wi-Fi. <laughs> no, man. We were fighting about bandwidth. I don't know if that was the way to open the movie. <laughs> like, yeah, um, it was just a weird choice of things that were important. Yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. Sometimes things are written poorly, Joe. Joe, I'm going to build a jack-o'-lantern. <gasps> no, I'm going to build a snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? Yes. Three out of four difficulty. I'm already winning. Shape a small blue ball into a rectangle. Shape a, a ball into a rectangle? <laughs> F*** off! <laughs> <laughs> Don't take my lines! <laughs> what was your favorite piece of nostalgia? Which one gave you the most? Oh, that was, oh, I love that. Oh, yeah. What I thought though was like the, the coolest kind of nod. The ballroom dancing scene, because it was totally out of Magic Kingdom uh, Haunted Mansion. Uh, when they're in The Shining and all of a sudden like all the zombies are dancing, right out of Magic Kingdom Haunted oh, Mansion. Okay. That's something that was in Orlando. My favorite, which I don't know if many people caught it. Towards the end, one of the, the big final battle scene, one of the clan, one of our guys, I forgot his name, pulls out a Chinese star looking thing and throws it. Oh, yeah. And oh my god, <laughs> did you ever see Crawl? Krull, if you don't know, is a fantasy adventure movie from the early 80s. Now, this movie centered around this five-pointed throwing star that had blades that shot out. This movie holds such a warm place in my heart. Sure. When I saw that in the movie, it was so quick, but like I caught it, and I just, in the middle of the theater, I was like, Ah! Krull! Ah! 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 Krull! I loved it. The Mad Balls was big for me, too. I don't get me wrong, I had Mad Balls. I had that exact Mad Ball. I mean, I'm, there was only like seven of them. It wasn't like there was like 46 I mean, nine balls. I didn't have them all. I, w I don't come from an affluent family that had the whole set <laughs> oh, of the seven, Mad Balls. Oh, family. seven $4 Mad Balls. <laughs> what are we, millionaires? $28 to buy all seven Mad Balls? Hey, man, it was the 80s, all right? <laughs> um, some had money, some didn't. Uh, but those that did have money were drowning in Mad Balls. Up to here in Mad Balls. <laughs> Wait, I gotta bury the LED too? Oh no, I buried the LED. Oh, I'm supposed to do that. Okay. I got you, girl. <laughs> I got you, girl. Oh! Light! Ow, don't shine that right in my eyes. <laughs> I mean, it works, so... That counts. What are the books for me? We can, like, make up some weird things with this thing, right? Do whatever you want. Oh, sky's the limit, yo. You know what? Because in the great words of Nick, off book, baby. I'm still working on my snowman. I'm taking my sweet time, apparently. I'm gonna go on the record. I didn't like this film. Sorry you felt that way. Yeah. The visuals were not stunning enough for Joe. No. The story was not stunning enough for Joe. No. And the female character with the horrible affliction was not nearly afflicted enough. 
<laughs> no. The idea that that girl could not get a date <laughs> is adorable. I'm gonna follow another instructions. I'm, 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 I'm too drunk to go off book. We're back on book. I figured that out earlier. I was drinking radically. <laughs> Radical! All right, all right. I know what it wants me to do. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, I can't do this. I think I'm done. <laughs> hey, Joe, how would you rate this movie? Five or a six? Ten is what you use? Yeah. I rate it just above Valerian. For me, I enjoyed the whole thing. I know you're much more well-read than I am, and you've read the Iliad 17 times, you've, you've read War and Peace five times, this year alone. Ah, it's what I do on my weekends. <laughs> the nostalgia wave hit me hard on this, and so I'm gonna give it 11.75 out of 14. I'll be honest, better or worse than Star Wars Last Jedi? <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> I mean, why do we have to compare them against each other so much? Because that's what we're here to we do, literally, you idiots. Literally what we do. <laughs> I enjoyed it more than Star Wars. Okay, so this one doesn't work. Here, bud. I really tried. Oh, that's okay, buddy. All right, my snowman's getting wings then. Frosty has wings, my friend. Did I make anything tonight? You did, but then you destroyed it. You destroyed your flashlight. <laughs> Said Frosty the snowman. Uh, you know what? I'm going to give you credit. Aside from BB-8, <laughs> this is probably the thing you put the most care and effort into, despite the results. But this is me trying so hard, so hard. to intricately like not cross the streams, but I suck. Like, comment, subscribe, and ding the bell. I if you'd like to be notified every time we post new content. Because sometimes it happens. Ding ding! For better or for worse.